Hi, this is Ben Holmes. Today we're going to talk briefly about some how to use generic fixtures as part of your setup. This is, uh, you'll use generic fixtures when you don't have uh, your particular fixture listed in our list. In our list. So uh, we put these there so that everyone can continue to use Venue Magic if they get something that's brand new and has we haven't got it in there yet you can you can make sure that you can still use it so the way you use generic fixtures is first of all you go into the fixture setup once you're into the fixture setup you come down to the generic and what I've got to set up today is I've got actually got a five channel generic laser that I'm going to set up uh, and this is what the manual looks like and the way that you do that is you basically just double click on five channel it put, brings it over here I can double click on it and I can actually rename this right here on the screen so generic laser now the important thing to remember about the name is that you cannot have any spaces or dashes in the name it has you have to either use the underscore character or just combine it like I have here then once you've done, given it a name, you can actually come down and set each particular channel to be a particular mode, or, or to give the channel its correct name. So going back to my manual, the first uh, channel for this fixture is mode, the second is running direction, the third is running speed, The fourth is twinkle speed. And the fifth is color selection. Okay. And that's basically it. We'll cover merge mode in a in a in an advanced tutorial. So base then you can just click OK. Notice that it's it's now that one fixture is the same regardless. You can move it around. Notice the dip switch has changed. So you can, if it's a dip switch style setup on the fixture, it'll actually tell you what to set the dip switches to. That type of thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is close, and we'll actually go and actually program this fixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this generic laser over into my lamp track. Now that it's here in my lamp track, you can see that it's there. I'm going to go ahead and with generic fixtures, pretty much the best thing to use is just the level control. Level control is the the universal uh, do whatever you want type of uh, lamp effect. So I'm going to drag that in here. I'm going to set it up for 20 seconds, which is a, a good length of time if you're doing a repeating type loop effect. Okay. Um, what I like to do with generic pictures, I actually like to hook them up uh, to the uh, uh, so that I can actually uh, work with them in real time uh, to do my settings uh, because you don't have uh, with generic fixtures you don't have all of the setup that we've done for you for for the uh, for the fixtures that we've already set up and so you don't ha necessarily have all of the the settings you don't have the colors uh, selections those types of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set mode. Right now, uh, with mode at zero, uh, it means off for this particular fixture. So the first thing I need to do is I actually need to turn it on. And I'm just going to set it to uh, DMX mode. In this case, DMX mode is actually 255. So I'm going to do that. And th what that does is that sets by setting this to 100%, it basically turns on the light immediately uh, as soon as it starts here. And, and what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to click step and then click there, and that will actually set it to be a full step. So you can see how that changed from a line to a step. So this light will basically be on from the very beginning. Actually with the beginning, I can actually drag that up as well. Okay, running direction. So with for running direction, uh, zero to ninety-nine is clockwise, uh, and these are these are actually scaled. So if I do some things like this, then you can see that it's going to 
do all sorts of fun things when I uh, well it over the time so uh, running speed we're just gonna do a not we're gonna just do this we're just gonna step the speed so it's, speed's gonna start at zero uh, actually zero for this particular fixture is speedy 255 is slow so we're gonna just slow it down so it's gonna be really really fast and then start slowing down uh, towards the end uh, twinkle speed we'll go ahead and leave that alone and then color selection we'll leave that alone as well because that's uh, the uh, red and green uh, color selection which looks good on this particular laser click OK and that and that actually will run uh, that particular laser for me so when I click play so post your questions below and we'll uh, respond to them as we see them and I hope you have fun time using Venue Magic. Thanks.